and we are live. Hello, everyone. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us for day number 4,108 <laughs> of Stay at Home Tennis. Absolutely. This is Joe and I'm Scott. Hopefully you know who we are by now. Hopefully you've all tuned in to... If you don't, what rock have you been living on under? Absolutely. Right, the things you guys will need, if you haven't seen the description, is you'll need three tennis balls or three pairs of socks in a ball. You will need a racket um, and you will need, if you have them... Three cups or three mugs. You could use you could use mugs. We are using new plastic cups today. We've not got out and specially bought these. We have these and recycle these in our house. Absolutely. If you don't have them, that's fine. You don't. Have, it's just it might just be a bit easier to have them to hold onto a, uh, onto a tennis ball. Okay. So that's three rackets or three socks. Three rackets or three socks. Three tennis balls or three uh, socks. A racket and three things to put balls into. Could be bowls as well. Okay. Didn't even think of bowls. Yeah, bowls is a good one. Right, so what we're going to do first is you're going to, we're going to need your tennis racket on the floor. If you don't have a tennis racket, you could just have a particular area you've designated to, uh, to use because we're going to be bouncing a tennis ball on the racket. This is called trampoline tennis. This is your first warm-up activity. And what you're going to do is you're going to be bouncing the ball on your racket and you're going to be doing side steps round in a circle like this. And when I say change, you're going to change the direction that you're going in, okay? And change the top, okay? We're going to see how many times in the 30 seconds you manage to bounce that ball on your racket, okay? If you're struggling with it, you can go much lower down and you can just make sure that you're dropping and catching it with two hands, okay? You don't have to do it too fast. You could get rid of the racket altogether, as Scott said, so that we're just bouncing it and try to get the ball to land up and fall into your hands, because it makes it a bit easier too. But uh, stay at home tennis, we like lots of challenges. So, Indeed. let's see if you can beat Joe. Every time I say change, you have to change the direction that you are moving in, okay? So, uh, give it a little practice. Like this. So you're going like that, and then when I say change, you're going to change. Okay, Ooh. woo! If it hits the frame of your racket, it will go off in a different direction. Okay, ready? The 30 seconds starts in three, two, one, and go! So start bouncing, change, then change the direction, and change, change, change. 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 We've only got a little bit left. Change. Change. And stop there. That really gets you nice and warm. Okay. Right, we're going to have a changeover now. <laughs> a proper changeover. Changeover. So I'm changing with Scott. It's going to be Scott's go now. Right. I'm just going to have a little practice go. Oh, that was terrible. Fortunately, he had a practice go though, eh? Okay, it's easier when you get down nice and low. If you're really upright, it's harder to aim. So I've got my bent knees, so I'm going around like this. Okay. Right. We've got okay. our yoga mat, so it doesn't make loads and loads of noise for our neighbours downstairs. Yeah, it's not good on a wooden floor. Okay. okay. So, round number two. I managed to get 40. 40? 40. Oh, 40. Wow. Four, zero. That's how many times I managed to do it. Team Joe or Team Scott? Scott, what, what's your target? I'm gonna, I think we're gonna get 45. 45? Yeah, that's my target. Let us know see. what team you're on, okay? And let us know your scores. Let's go. Right. We start round two in three, two, go! Change. 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 Oh, I didn't say anything, where are you going? Change. 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 Am I confusing anyone at home? All the way around, all the way around. Change. 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 Five seconds left. Change. 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 Stop there. Oh! That's okay. harder than I thought. I got 36. Woo! 36. That was four off from equalizing Joe. Woo! Anybody said Team Joe at home? Congratulations <laughs> once again. What scores did we get? Uh, hello, Hugo. Hello, Marina. Well done. Great score from Marina. And hello from Zach. Hey, Zach. 
Fantastic. Right. Did anybody have two goes then? Did anybody manage to beat their score from the first time? Always love it when you beat your first score. I think there's nothing more satisfying than just doing it better than you have done in the past. Right. We're going to move this out away. Okay. So we are moving on to our second activity now. This is where you're going to need three tennis balls. Or just to make it trickier for me and Scott, we're going to use two tennis balls and a pair of socks. Okay. You take those. Okay. And then... I'm going to take the three cups. Now, what we're going to do is leave the racket where it is with all of the other items on top. And I'm going to move all the way over here, and we're going to put down three cups. Let me move out the way so you can see them. You can't really see them very clearly, but one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. So we've got the three cups on the floor. So what's going to happen when I say go, you, everybody at home, and Scott will take it in turns. Not taking turns, sorry. You will pick up one of the items, like so, and run and place it on top of the cups, and then come back and keep going. So he gets the second item, puts it on top of the cup, and the third one. Okay, he comes back, and then he's going to start again, taking them off, and putting them on the, the racket. Notice what type of footwork I'm doing as well, guys. I'm doing my side steps, and I'm trying to stay nice and low as well. So we're doing proper tennis footwork here. Oh, this will get your legs working really, really hard. Okay, right. And you're, what you're going to try and do is see how many times you can take the tennis balls there and back. Okay, once all three are there, that's one. Once they're all back, that's two. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Right, hello, hello Tina. Tina. Hello, hello. Super, right, are you ready? I will be, of course. 30 second challenge. Okay, right, I'm going to move this way so that I'm out of Scott's way, otherwise it's going to be an unfair advantage for me. Right. So, everybody, are you ready at home? You have 30 seconds. Hopefully you've got yourself set up there. A recap, if you didn't catch us there, we have three cups over the side. Scott is going to put all of the balls, all of the socks on those, and then we'll come back again. Right, 30 seconds, everybody. Your time starts now. So it's got to the way across, it's going to be very, very delicate when he puts that ball down, otherwise he's going to knock the cup over and the ball's going to go flying. Ooh. So he's done one set, he comes back, and he's going to go back across again to pick them up, he brings them back. Don't know how you can hear Scott's feet here. He's staying nice and low on the court, he's got six seconds left. Is he going to, be able, is he going to have enough time to bring them all back again? He's knocked one over. And stop there! Oh. I did four. Three. Three. I did three. Trying to add him <laughs> score there, of course. Okay, so my score was three. Score. Three at three point three three recurring. I got there. Okay, let us know how many times you managed to do that. Hello, Bruno and Jack. Hello, hello. I wondered where Bruno and Jack were. <laughs> if you've just joined us, you need three tennis balls and three places to put them because what we're doing is this is called the fan drill. Okay. And you've got to go out and send your three items out to the side. Once you've done your third one, you've got to bring them back. Okay? So, let's see if we can beat our score. I got three there. Oh my gosh. Six, Six. from Nico and Florian. So well done. Four. Too close. 4.1 from Daniel. Very good. Yeah. Well, I've got a quick question for you, Scott. Who do you think is going to not join us first? The Brinkmans or the Speeches? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it will not be the most reliable. Yeah, uh, he's, he's going to be least consistent out of the two of them. Okay, right, ready? Let's see if we can beat your scores. Three, two, one, go! So remember, try and do your side steps so your chest should be pointing towards us, your television, your iPad, your laptop, whatever you're watching. Joey's going very, very fast. That's it, he's already done two. Okay, and he's got halfway to go. I think he's going to beat me. Oh no. He's dropped his cup over. Oh no, that's what? cost him some time. That has cost him some time. Well done, we got four from Jack. Fantastic. And stop there. Ah. How many was that? 3.66. 3.66. He beat me by one cup there. So, well done. Okay. Right. <laughs> What's all this I'm hungry stuff about <laughs> with emojis? People are having uh, fun in the comment section. Let us know your score, guys. Did you beat it from the first time? Are you feeling it in your legs? Are you feeling it in your chest? I was feeling it in my lungs over the end. <laughs> okay, right. We can move that stuff out of the way. 
Now, this is a really fun and challenging exercise, okay? This is the tennis ball plank, okay? Um, so we're going to use a plank mat. We're going to put this at a, a bit of an angle so you can see and Joe might... Uh, I'm just going to shift the camera, the camera down a little bit so here, everybody. Can see. So what you're going to do, I, you need just one tennis ball, okay? We're going to show you what we want you to try first, but if you find this really difficult, we'll show you a progression to make it a bit easier. You're going to, yes, there are progressions. You're going to get into the plank like this, okay? Make sure your bottom isn't sagging down there, okay? You're going to hold on to one tennis ball like this. You've I got, should be able to rest something on Scott's back here. So it's got to stay nice and flat. <laughs> you've got okay. to hold on to one tennis ball, then you've got to throw it up and catch it with the other hand. This is a real challenge. If you struggle with strength, okay, <laughs> that's quite difficult, you can put just rest your knees down like that and see if you can catch like this, okay, which is still a challenge. We still suggest okay. that you try to get your weight over your chest rather than have it back over your hips if you're doing this. So if I'm still on my knees like that, my weight is still on the, on the over my chest, you see it's, it is a challenge because you've got to be very quick with your hands, okay? And then if you if you do find it a little bit too tricky, you could lean back a little bit. So you could lean back. Over Scott's and if you're really down. struggling to catch, you could go in this position and roll. It's still practicing your core strength as well like that, okay? I'm gonna do the hard one like this, okay? I don't know how many I managed earlier, but you've got to throw it up quite high in order to change your hands and you're gonna really feel it in your core. <laughs> so, ready? Let's do a 30 second challenge. Okay, I'm I'm gonna everyone be, at home is ready. I'm gonna be drenched in sweat with this one. <laughs> right, okay. Rachel, keen to know your opinions on this song. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, are we ready at home? Are you ready, Scott? I'm ready. Get, right. get me a ball just in case I drop it. I've, I've got one in my hand. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. So make sure you're counting how many you're doing there. You're seeing Scott's trying to stay very, very still. If you look at Scott's head, it's barely moving whatsoever. He's moving his hips a little side to side. He's sucking up his belly button. Keep that core engaged. Ooh. But he's not moving his head around too much. As a tennis player, we don't try and move our head around too much when we're playing on strokes. We want good balance there as well as strength through the rest of us. Right, everybody, and stop there. Ooh. 24. Right, lay down the gauntlet now. Beat that, Joe. Okay, <laughs> I will try. You also feel it in your arms as well. Right, what scores did we get? I can't see. Uh, <laughs> very it's gone it's very low. <laughs> right. Go on, Joe, have a practice. I'm having a little breather. Well done, Zach. Well done, the Brinkmans. I don't know who got that oh, score there. Everywhere. That's Thank it. You are. Yeah, Brinkman's tell us who. from Daniel, well done. 11 from Marina, fantastic. 68 from uh, Zach. <laughs> that was that was very, very fast. Okay, just right. Trying. Okay, we're gonna start. I'm ready. So remember, we've got different variations. You can do this full plank, you can do this on your knees, you can roll it, okay, if you're struggling. 30 seconds, see if you can beat my score of 24. Let us know if you're on Team Joe, Team Scott. I'm just making you go in the plank for as long as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's that. And go! That's it. So remember, we've got different variations on this one. You've got to be really, really coordinated with your hands in order to catch it. The, uh, <laughs> the mat is rolling backwards on this one. <laughs> there we go. Right, we have got eight seconds left. Come on, guys. I know your, your arms and your abs will be burning on this one. And stop there. How many did you get? 26. 26! Whoa! Big score from Joe. Oh, fantastic. I'm just going to put the camera up to the normal level. Fantastic. Super. Well done. Okay, let us know your scores. Did you beat Team Joe and Scott on that one? We're or, gonna... or, or are we finally going to have won one of the challenges? <laughs> we have never won one of these challenges. Someone has always beaten us. <laughs> right, we're just going to move our yoga mat out of the way. Or as Scott called it earlier, our plank mat. Our plank mat. Is that what I called it? You did. I did. I was surprised. Okay, right. Okay, so for the next activity, we're going on to our racket or hand skill. You're going to need a racket and a ball. Okay. I forgot what we're doing on this one. Okay, so. 
Normally, what we do when we're doing basketball, we're doing a basketball oh, activity, yeah. is tapping the ball down like this. You can still do this one if you find the task that we're going to set quite challenging. But otherwise, what you're going to try and do is use both sides of the racket to do this. So hitting it down, trying to use both sides of the racket in order to do this. If anybody's outside playing on grass, you might find this very challenging. You're going to need quite a flat surface for this. Okay. So we've got a, we're doing our basketball dribbling challenges, and you've got to make sure that you're changing your, uh, moving your wrist from side to side. Right? That's not spinning the racket around, <laughs> turning the hand over. If you don't have a ball to bounce, you could use socks and you will have to do it up like this, okay? Because you can't bounce a pair of socks, unless your socks are incredibly bouncy. You've okay. got flour on them. So there's always a way to do it. You'll be doing the opposite. You'll be sending it up and catching it on your racket. Okay? So remember, try and do this down, swapping the, the side of the racket. Okay? Ready? Let's see if yeah, Joe's going to start I'm off. Ready. Okay? Three, two, one, go! Start your basketball dribbling. It's quite a challenge doing it on the backhand side as well. You've got to have a lot of strength on that side. That's it. So try and alternate, try and keep the ball in the same position, otherwise you'll be chasing after it. This is actually you pronating your wrist like you do on your serve as well, like we did last week. Did any, so you might have heard our washing machine go off then. <laughs> and stop there. How many did you get, Joe? 46. 46. This right. is a high scoring activity. So high scoring for one. once, when people write down scores of 40, 50. We will believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm we have a little note. I'm going to have a little press behind, behind the camera, you can't sit, but we write down who, who we think might be learning about their scores so we can Ooh. punish you when you come back to the tennis table. <laughs> For those of you who didn't hear then, because my clap was going down, I said punish. There we go, right, look at this. Look at the skills from Coach Scott here. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, I'm going to see if I can beat it. What did you get, 46? Uh, yes, I think so. Cool, right. Let's right, go. Team Joe or Team Scott, everybody, who's Let's know way. whose side you're on. Okay, right, are we ready? Three, two. One, go! This is round two, everybody. You can see Scott's in a good low ready position. If you've been watching us at all, you'll always see that we're always talking about being set up in this position. Legs slightly wider than your shoulders. Weight over the middle of your body, not on one side, and having soft knees, okay? We are a little bit bouncy in there. That is a good ready position. Scott is in that position. Okay, he's doing very, very well. Three, two, one and stop there. 58! Oh. Woo! There you go. Well this one. Champion. Fantastic. Yeah, I got into a good rhythm there, going side to side. Okay, you should feel that in your wrist as well. Okay, right. Have a have a little breather. I'm gonna have a little quick drink. If you need one. Okay, now, quick riddle for everybody. Uh, what was our shot of the day yesterday? What was our skill? What were we practicing yesterday in the session? You didn't have to join us because it's been online, so you could have watched it afterwards if you were really sad. Yeah. What did we do yesterday? Can anyone remember? I'll give you a little minute to do some. I'm listening out. I'm out listening right out. Down there. Okay. Was it that we were practicing our volley footwork? Well, I think it was, Scott. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Right. Did you get it right? Don't get it wrong. No one's no one typed. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> okay, so like yesterday we were doing our our volley dance like this. Okay, we're practicing our footwork. Hopefully you watch that over and over again for entertainment value. Okay, today we're going to be looking at our split step. So the first challenge we're going to be doing is when we say go, you've got to do fast speed. In fact, I tell you what, we will do this on the mat just for noise value, okay? So when we say go, you're going to be jogging on the spot like this, okay? And then when Joe calls out... Now. No, you say split step. No, oh, no, 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 you don't we call out. Clap. You no, clap. Okay, it. okay, so okay. You, you can clap. When so Joe claps, I clap. I, you've got to split step like that, okay? And then you go back to uh, jogging on the spot. Okay, make sure when you do a split step, you land again with your legs wider than your shoulders, knees nice and soft, ready to spring and bounce to one other side. But right now, we're just gonna go split step and then back into that jogging on the spot. This is really this is really good linking in with our volley work. It's super important to split step because it gets you to change direction, okay? Anybody that's had a lesson with me will know how much I bang on about a split step being important on your volley. So start practicing, start jogging on the spot, being nice and light on your feet, okay? And then split step, 
and then go back into jogging, okay? And then go split step, and then go back into jogging. Try not to put your heels down on the floor. So when you're split stepping, you see my heels are off the ground, okay? You'll barely hear Scott landing because he lands so lightly during that split step. Right, so I'll do this one first. Every time Joe claps, hopefully you can all hear the clap on the microphone. Okay, that's when you split step and then go back into it. There is no score on this one. We're just hoping you're doing it amazing. Let's um, let's have some videos of this one sent to us. Absolutely. Right. So again, everyone will end up the same score, so we're not writing scores down. Right, everybody, your 30 seconds starts now. That's for you. Back to the ready position. Trying to be sneaky. Good. Keep going, Scott. Keep those feet moving. Got seven seconds left, everybody. <laughs> and one for luck. Stop there. Fantastic. Right, Joe's go. Hopefully, your heart is pumping. Otherwise, you'll not be alive. Sorry. <laughs> um, Otherwise, we're concerned as to why you're doing this with us. <laughs> exactly. Okay, ready? So my turn, it will be, I'll be clapping. Okay, I'll try and do it nice and close. So when I'm not clapping, you should be nice and light on your feet. 30 seconds of practice, starting- Of practice? Of, no. chat of this. Woo! I thought I was going to have to do a minute of it then. <laughs> ready, and go. There we go, that's it. Fast feet, fast feet. You can do faster feet than that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Everyone's watching, I can tell. <laughs> and stop there. Well done. Okay, hopefully I fooled a lot of you at home who are watching intently on the TV then. Okay, right, what we're going to do now, we will move this one out of the way, finally. Okay. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is take what you've just been doing there, but actually add the footwork that we practiced yesterday to it as well. So, ready position, beginning with a split step, and then either moving to your backhand side or your forehand side. You're always stepping across your body, yeah? So when I'm going, you can have a racket in for this exercise. If you're going to your right side, you're stepping across with your left foot. When you're going to your left side, you're crossing over with your right. And what Joe's going to be doing now is I'm going to be jogging on the spot, okay? And he's going to call out forehand or backhand. The moment he calls it out, you need to split step and then step forwards, okay? And then if he goes backhand, I split step and goes forwards on my backhand side. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. This is again another reaction drill. So the moment you hear him call it out, split step and move. Okay, right, let's give it a go. 30 seconds of practice. So light on those toes, everybody. 30 seconds of practice again. Well, it is just a practice. Okay, <laughs> so go on. Right, forehand. And back into the ready position. Backhand. See, so Scott would always do a split step. Backhand. There's the split step, and then he moves. Forehand. <laughs> Just trying to guess. Forehand. Backhand. Forehand. Forehand. Backhand. 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 Okay, and stop there. Ready? And again. <laughs> Joe's go. What is going on in the comment section? Wolfie and Zach are <laughs> having a conversation. I'm going to write all the time in the comment section. Right, ready. And again, so when I say go, I want you to start your ready steps and go. So start your ready steps, nice and light on your feet. Forehand. Forehand. Backhand. Ready steps, ready steps. And backhand. 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 Forehand, are you getting back to the middle before Joe? Are you doing the shot before Joe? I want to see if you're really, really fast. And forehand, backhand, forehand, forehand, backhand, and stop there. Are you not, Are you really warm? I am, I'll get really into that then. <laughs> get into a, a, a little while longer. Get into a good rhythm, okay. 
So on this next exercise, you're going to need a partner or a wall. Okay, your partner's going to have a tennis ball. And this time I'm going to be again being light on my feet, but Joe's going to be throwing it gently either to my forehand side or to my backhand side. The moment he throws it to me, I'm going to split, split step, and then push the ball back, okay? Because we're nice and close and indoors, so we don't want you hitting it really, really hard. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this, okay? He throws it to the side, I still split step, and then send it back, okay? Make sure you're having a good look at home, everybody, because I want you to tell me if Scott forgets to do a split step. He was good then. And there she He's an expert at this. It's almost as if this is what he does for a living. Almost as if I've played tennis for over 20 years. Right. Okay, so. <laughs> You're that old, so. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. You're going to see how many you can get back uh, to your partner. Okay, you're going to work together, yeah? So they're not going to be doing mean throws. We're going to see how many they can volley back to your partner, and then we're going to change over. If you're doing it against a wall, you're going to have to volley against the wall, but you're going to have to, the moment it hits the wall, you're going to have to split step, okay, every every time, okay? You won't necessarily have enough time to do the footwork when you're against the wall, but I want you to be nice and light on your feet when you're doing it against the wall, okay? And see if you can beat our score. So, 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, so always split stepping and hitting. Okay, they don't have to go the same side. Uh, sorry, they don't have to always alternate. They can go back behind you. But they're, they're going to be checking that you're split stepping every single time. Okay. That's it. So always jumping on the balls of your feet. There we go, and stop there. How many did I get? 21. 21. Okay. 21. If we struggle with this, you've just got to do it nice and close. Okay, so you can do it like this, but, uh, bumping it back to your partner's hand. Okay, if we're struggling to do it from afar. If you come out the footwork in as well, don't worry about the footwork, but the split step is our important part of today, so make sure you're still remembering to do a split step when you hit this ball back to somebody else. Ready, I'll do the counting. Ready? See if you can beat your score, beat your partner's score. Three, Ready. two, one, Ready. go! Here we go. Oh. I'll count. And I'm here. It's got like to throw this quite close to me. That's better. <laughs> He's trying to make this hard for me, everybody. He's trying to make sure I don't beat his score. I have sneaky <laughs> suspicion here. I don't know. We'll see. Are you all still split stepping at home? And on parents, I like stop there. Or 20, well. our score was oh. 20. Let us know your scores. What was the scores there? We got 12. Well done. We got some good scores. Two people managed to get 22. Ooh. Zach, you got loads. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Okay. So. What we're going to do on next, oh, our next one is the challenge that we do every single day. Throw, clap, jump. This is the one I ended up having a laughing fit on. <laughs> I am going to try and beat my score this time. So what we have to do is you need a tennis ball. You throw, clap, catch, put on the floor, jump. Then you do it twice this time. Then you do it three times. And I'm hoping that happens so I can beat it, okay? So get your tennis ball, give it, give it a practice. 24 from Bruno, 27 from Jack on the previous one. Well done, guys. Well done, Fantastic you scores, both beating us. Really, really good. Okay, right, grab your tennis ball. Okay, you're gonna, oh no, you need to hold on to it first. Yeah, it's true, you didn't hold on to it. Now, I think I got six yesterday, so my goal today is just to try and beat six, try and get further than I got yesterday. My goal is to get better throughout the week. I've already done it, so when the week finishes, I'll be happy, but it's still early, so I reckon I can do a bit better. If you don't beat it, it's absolutely fine. I did not beat my score yesterday, but I blame that on Joe, because <laughs> he was so intense and I was laughing so much. Okay, ready? Just trying to do good. 30 seconds. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Well. I'm ready. Are you ready at home? Three, two, one, go. Ah! Yes. 
got six. I've beat my score. One, Scott. What did you get? Six and a half. Six and a half. So you beat it as well. I did beat my score. Fantastic. Ooh. Let us know your scores, guys. Did you beat your score? Did you beat us? I can barely breathe. That was really tough. Yeah. <laughs> we get very silent at that because Scott and I are trying so hard to do better. Absolutely. Nothing better than beating yourself. Before we wrap up, hopefully we've just created a little promo video of our stay-at-home tennis. We call it This Is My Tennis Court. Some of you were involved. Thank you so much. Make sure you have a look see if you're in it. We're going to do a, a much longer one, actually fully explaining what the course is. This was just to try and you know get everyone to think about how they can turn their living space into a tennis court. Um, so take, check it out on YouTube, check it out on Instagram, check it out on Facebook. It's on all our platforms. Give it a like. That will help us out. Um, forward it to everyone you forward know. Forward it to everyone. That would be really nice. And if you still want to be a part of it, because we're going to make a longer one, you can send us your videos at any time. Okay? It doesn't have to be you saying, this is my court, this is our court. It can be you doing any of the activities. Some of that's going to be in there as well. We're just using some of the videos that we've been sent. We love them. Please send us more. And the LTA will love it. So we're, we're hoping they will get involved with it as well. Indeed. Sorry Tennis already are super fantastic. They love what we're doing and they love that everybody's doing it with us. Absolutely. They're very impressed with everyone. So, a um, little recap. Super quick recap now. We start Very quick. We started with the trampoline tennis where you're bouncing the ball on the floor and doing your side steps. We then moved on to our... Plank. No, it was the fan drill next. Fan drill. We yeah. moved on to the fan drill next, so I was moving and running and trying to delicately put the balls down on top of the cups. Then we did one of the hardest exercises we've done, which is the plank. So really good for your abs, really good for your coordination of the strength as well. Then we did... Then we moved on to basketball. That was where we were using the racket to try and knock the ball down. Flip your hand like this, you know, it's tennis. <laughs> then we did our... Then we were practicing our split steps. So we were doing our run, running on the spot split steps which progressed to running on the spot, split step, and step across. And then finally, we put all of that together with the hit and try to send it back to our partner too. And we finished today with our competition of the week, which is throw, catch, jump. Hopefully some of you did even better this time. Send us any videos you would like. Uh, we can always give you some feedback on things to improve. And we really hope you enjoyed today's session. Remember to like our new video on social media. And we'll see you tomorrow at four o'clock. Have a fantastic rest of your day. We're going outside to play some tennis in our car park. Bye, <laughs> Have <everybody>. fun. <laughs>